Kendra, you're back. Kevin, I'm only here to collect my things. Babe, you left before I could even explain myself. Explain what? That I caught you fucking cheating on me? And God knows how many times you've done it before? No, babe, it's not like that. It was just one time. And you know what? I don't give a fuck if it was one time, two times, or twenty times. You shouldn't have did what the fuck you did to me. And the fact that you were doing it in our bed, Kevin, where we make love, where we made a baby together, a baby that you aborted without telling me. I didn't tell you I aborted the baby, Kevin, because I can't fucking trust you. I didn't know how the fuck you would react. And that's exactly the problem, Kendra. You don't fucking trust me. No, absolutely the fuck I don't. And I was right not to trust you the entire time for you to go and fuck another girl in our bed. Well, maybe I wouldn't have had to fuck her if you would just pay more attention to me. You ever think that pay more attention to you? Kevin, I've been working 10-hour shifts five days a week to keep a roof over our heads. Because you've been unemployed for two fucking months. I have no Two fucking months, Kevin. You said you were going to get a job five weeks ago. I'm fucking trying, okay? Don't even fucking do this to me right now. I've been fucking trying. Well, clearly you're not trying hard enough just like you weren't trying hard enough to keep your fucking pants on and that's why you're gonna be all alone broke and washed up because i'm gone i'm really gone this time you lost me this time kevin i you know babe you can't baby just tell me what i need to do i'll do it for you to stay there's nothing left to say kevin babe come on if i say anything else to you kevin i'm just gonna hurt your fucking feelings so i best be on my way out like Haley williams just say whatever it is babe i can take you know what i have to say to you kevin you're a dumbass motherfucker. You clearly don't know what the fuck you had, and you definitely know not what the fuck you're losing right now for you to go and pull some stupid ass shit like that. You got a lot of fucking audacity and not nearly enough inches below the belt to back it all up. Nothing but three inches of chode in there and nothing going on upstairs. Bitch, you are not half the fucking man you think you are. Shit, you're not even a quarter. And that's precisely why I'm fucking leaving you. Have fun with that fucking floozy over there. By the way, Ariel, don't think I don't see your musty fish ass in that fucking closet step out yeah that's right step out I could already tell he was fucking you the moment I walked in the pad and it smelled like rotten ass fucking fish. Cause that's all you'll ever be, ho. A goddamn fish. I should have known you were a shady motherfucker when you got those fake as fuck legs Also, you could walk on land to go get dick. That is a horny pick me ass bitch right there. You know what, Kendra? At the end of the day, you can talk all the shit you want. I still fucked your man. He said, that's fine. That's fine. You can have him. You can have that motherfucker right there. He needs a girl like you right now. As a matter of fact, he doesn't have a job, so it's all he can afford. Oh, Oh, please, girl, please shut the fuck up. Look at you now. Look at me. Look at you now. Look at me. Look where he is right now. Look who he's begging on the floor, fucking pleading to stay. And look who he's hiding in the fucking closet. We are not Demi and Selena. And we are not one and the same. Keep my fucking name out of your mouth. Bye, both of you motherfucking nasty pieces of shit. It's this house right over here, ma'am. Uh, hello? Uh, Kendra, what are you doing here? And who the fuck are you? Oh, hello. You must be Ariel. My name is Ashley, and I work with Child Protective Services. Would it be okay if I step in for just a moment? Kendra, what the fuck is going on right now? Well, since you're the type of friend who wants to fuck on my man in my own house, I decided to call CPS and bring them to yours to show them the kind of dog shit mother you are. Uh, listen, I have no idea what she told you, but I will have you know I am a fantastic mother, and you have no right to search inside of my house. Actually, Ariel, due to the overwhelming amount of evidence Kendra has presented us, not only confirming your excessive substance abuse, but as well as general neglectful nature, the court has issued a warrant that allows me to enter the premises. Now, if you would just step aside, Kendra, what the fuck did you tell them? Bitch, I told them everything. I told them about the time you sold your food stamps for coke. I told them about the time you went to Cancun with Flounder for two weeks and I had to take care of your kids for you. And I showed them the pictures of you sucking men off on Instagram while your kids are watching TV in the same room. So step aside, neck breather. I, I, what? Babe, can you just tell whoever that is to leave? This Finn isn't gonna write itself, bitch. Oh, wow, really, Ariel? You were fucking my man last night, and now you're in here having sex with one of the sea monsters from Finding Nemo? I knew you were fucking dirty. Uh, where are the children, ma'am? Oh, they're still locked in the attic. What? Aaron, shut the fuck up! Uh, mommy, mom, let us out! Mommy, let us out! Oh my gosh, we need to help them! Kendra! Kendra! Yay! Kendra's here! Kendra! What is going on? These are her kids, ma'am. Ernie, Michelangelo, Snow White, and the fire dog from Paw Patrol. They all have different dads, in case you couldn't tell. Mommy locked us in here last night. We thought we'd never get out. Uh, Miss Triton! You should be ashamed of yourself. Is this any way for King Neptune's daughter to be behaving? I, 
I didn't mean to hurt them, so you mean to tell me you locked your helpless, innocent kids in this basement so you could get dicked down by a goddamn sea monster? You have a lot of fucking nerve, Ariel. I can't believe I was ever friends with a nasty ass, disrespectful person like you. You got no respect for me, you got no respect for your kids, you had no respect for your ex-husband who left you shacked up in this Section 8 housing because you've been cheating on him for years, and most importantly, you have no respect for yourself, the woman in the mirror. And that's why time and time again, you put yourself in these situations where you victimize everybody around you and then have the audacity to play victim yourself. And it's time you face the repercussions and the consequences of your actions. Well, Ariel, I must be taking your children with me. No, no, not my babies. No, my babies. I hate you. The court shall now commence the people versus Ariel Triton, the honorable Judge Elsa taking the stand. Well, to summarize for the jury, basically, this bitch was giving head on camera with her kids in the same goddamn room, and then she locked them in the basement for days at a time while she was getting a train ran on her by multiple random men. And plus, she's a fucking drug addict. <laughs> the court summons prosecuting attorney Angelique Ramirez to come to the stand and drag this hoe by her unbrushed red vines. Angelique. Thank you, Your Honor. Let's make one thing very fucking clear right now, Ariel. We see the very type of person you are as you have shown it to the court multiple times before you even took the stand. You really mean to sit here and tell me you were on vacation for over two weeks without telling anybody you were leaving and Kendra had to come and take care of your kids for you Also, you could go fuck her man behind her back? Some kind of fucking friend you are. That's just plain disrespectful. Do you have anything to say for yourself? All I have to say is that the portrait that has been painted of me in this courtroom is not reflective of who I really am. My ex-best friend Kendra merely has started a smear campaign against me because she's jealous that I can fuck her man better than she can and she's jealous of my family and wants to take my kids away from me. Well, let me tell you something right now, Ariel. You got the game all fucked up. Kendra didn't force you to neglect your children and Kendra didn't force you to be the foul-spirited person that you are. At this point in time, your best bet would be to own up to your mistakes and take accountability and responsibility for yourself as a woman instead of sitting here and pointing the finger at everybody else every time you're called out on your bullshit. Now let me ask you a question, Tater Thought. Of course everybody in this courtroom is already aware that you have put your children in multiple situations where they've had to be around drugs, but have you ever forced your children to ingest drugs themselves? Uh, I would never do such a thing. Why would you even ask me that? Oh really? Fucking lying ass. The prosecution calls Ariel's illegitimate children to the stand. Kids, did your mother ever force you to do drugs? You're goddamn right she did. She made us do coke, meth, and weed for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. As a matter of fact, our little brother Michelangelo still can't even talk because when he was three months old, she got him addicted to crack and he never developed motor skills. I rest my case, your honor. Has the jury reached its verdict? We have, Your Honor. Our verdict is that, bitch, you're going to jail. And you're getting your fucking kids taken away permanently. As a matter of fact, since you want to be a good-for-nothing-ass fucking friend and have sex with her boyfriend behind her back, we're giving custody of your kids to Kendra. How's that for some fucking karma? Take her away, boys. <laughs> Happy anniversary, my love. Ah! Oh my god! Gary, Sarah, what the fuck? Frankie? Gary, listen to me. No, what the fuck is wrong with you? How dare you? What happened to your business trip? It doesn't matter what the fuck happened. I came home early because I wanted to surprise you on our anniversary, and you're having sex with my little brother? Uh, where are the kids? I took them to- I do- where the fuck are the kids, Sarah? I dropped them off at your mom's house. Oh, really? Because I was at my mom's house just 10 minutes ago, and they weren't fucking there, you goddamn liar. I don't give a damn what you want to do behind my back, but don't you dare fucking lie to me about the whereabouts of my children, Sarah. Where the fuck are they? Listen, Gary, calm down. They're fine. They're with my roommate. Listen, motherfucker, you better stay at least six feet away from me right now, because I'll fuck you up. Oh, really? You're going to fuck me up? I swear to God, Frankie, back the fuck up right now. I'm about to pound your fucking face. And oh, really, punk bitch? I'd like to see you try well you're about to see Frankie really oh really after all the shit I've done for you after I worked 30 hours a week in high school so I could pay for your Anaheim trip after I allowed you to live in my house rent free for three years because you couldn't get a job because of your burglary conviction I took care of you like you were my own son from the day dad left you forgot to mention the part where dad left because of you you shut the fuck up if you never told mom that dad was cheating on her you know he would be here you fucking know he would have never left and you know what 
I'd do it over and over again if I could. Because guess what? He was a good for nothing, deadbeat piece of shit just like you. Oh yeah, a deadbeat piece of shit who gets more bitches than you ever will. Oh really? You want to violate the sanctity of my marriage? And then you want to brag about it and boast it around like you're some kind of fucking stud? Where the hell did you get off? Inside of your wife? Bum, 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 bitch. Gary, calm down. Don't tell me to fucking calm down. Gare Bear, don't fucking call me that. You don't get to call me that anymore. The only person who gets to call me that is the woman I married, and you are most certainly not her. She would never do something like this to me. I don't know what you did with my Sarah, but I want her back. Gary, I just, I gave so many signs. I haven't been happy in a long time. I, I just needed to try something new. You... I had dreams before we settled down and I get them all up. Well, did it ever occur to you that I did too, Sarah? In fact, the only reason I turned down college was for you. I cut off half my friends. I started working at the warehouse and I built this home for us. I gave up all of my dreams and never once did I regret it. And you know why? Because I thought you were worth it. I thought our family was worth it, but clearly I was wrong. Clearly you don't agree. Gary, I don't mean that. I love you so much. Say don't call me, don't text me, don't look for me. As a matter of fact, don't look at me right now. You don't deserve to look at me. I don't ever want to see you again. And I'm going to get my kids. Maki, how dare you leave them with a stranger and you can have sex with my brother. I don't know who you are. Oh, funny seeing you here, Kendra. <laughs> Alone, of course. I was just stopping to get some groceries on my way home, or should I say what was once your home? <laughs> I wish I could stay and chat, but as you could probably have guessed, Kevin is waiting for me. You know, he's actually been extremely happy since he got rid of you. Yeah, bitch, and you know who else is waiting for you? Planned Parenthood standing by with the results of your STI test, you rancid sack of shit. You think I give a fuck you're riding that man's great value community shrimp dick? We both know damn well I'm the one who left his dirty, unfaithful dickhead ass, and the only reason you want to get an attitude with me right now is because you rightfully got your fucking kids taken away by CPS and now that they're living with me, they get to actually eat a proper dinner on a daily basis. Instead of that nasty ass Thanksgiving leftover disaster core crockpot shit stew, you have the audacity to cook up and call food. Bitch, you got all those goddamn Martha Stewart cookbooks and Paula Deen kitchen appliances all so you could serve unseasoned prison meals while the ghost of Gordon Ramsay begs you to stop in the background? Fuck out of my face, neck breather. First of all, you haven't even tasted my food in over a year, so you have no room to speak. And second of all, I can tell you're just projecting because you're mad that I have your X-Man wrapped around my finger. <laughs> And plus, you think I give a fuck you have custody of those little shits? I only pretended to be sad in court because I wanted my sentence reduced. Well, at least it's nice to see now that you're out of jail, you're spending your food stamps and prostitution money on something other than crack and insane clown posse tickets for once. You run down, flea market trash bag skank. Enjoy sucking up the sloppy seconds because we both know good and fucking well I could take that man's broke good for nothing unwashed ass back in a heartbeat if I wanted to. Because every night when he's lying next to you, he's thinking of me, bitch, wishing he would have never got caught touching your tuna fish ass with a 10 foot pole because you and I both know good and fucking well I'm the best thing that ever fucking happened to him and you want to know the real truth of the matter ho you're really just envious of the fact that I don't need to cling to or rely on any fucking man to tell me who the fuck I am or validate where the fuck I've been or what I'm about because at the end of the day Ariel it doesn't matter who you lay down with or who I lay down with I'm still the highest prize on display and you're still not worth even half a McChicken with your tired musty stank ass that hasn't seen a proper bass that you walked up out of the sea, ho. I can smell your fucking breath from the detergent aisle. And when I do find a man, he'll be a million and one times that expired empty pocket as shit stain ever will be. Because I'm a grown ass woman who has learned from my mistakes in life. Unlike some underwater mutation who should maybe take some fucking notes. In fact, I'm glad you two found each other. It's what you deserve. A weak ass man deserves nothing more than a weak ass woman. And that's all you'll ever be beyond anything else, Ariel. Is a weak and pathetic vestige of any potential you ever once had in your life and that's why your own children don't fuck with you now excuse me i need to go proceed with my shopping so i can check out my items that i intend to pay for with money that i didn't make on my fucking knees funk monster Oh, hi there, Ariel. It's so good to see you again. If I'm not mistaken, the last time I saw you was when I gave you that abortion, correct? Oh my gosh, yeah, it has been a minute, hasn't it? Definitely. So what brings you in today? Well, to make a long story short, I was having unprotected sex with my best friend's boyfriend, but he promised me he was only having sex with the two of us. But I recently found out he's secretly a male prostitute, so I want to get tested. Yeah, no problem. Just lay down real quick. We'll run some quick tests. 
Well, Ariel, I hate to be the bearer of bad news, but it sounds like you have herpes. What? I'm so sorry, but it's true. And also, you're pregnant. What? How could I be pregnant? My stomach hasn't even gotten bigger. Well, it's because your baby is actually a midget, so you didn't notice it was in there. Did you want me to give you another abortion? Well, I actually don't really want an abortion. I just don't think that I can afford to have another child right now. Also, Child Protective Services just took away my other four children, so they might just take this one too. Well, have you thought about the fact that because your baby is a midget, you won't have to feed it as much, so it won't cost you very much money? Also, you could just give birth to it, and I won't tell the government. Oh, that's true. I won't have to spend as much money on baby food. Also, I hear midgets are born potty trained, so diapers aren't a problem. Mm. That is very true, Ariel, but the decision is still yours. Do you want me to abort the baby midget, or would you like to give birth to it? You know what? I think I want to keep it. All right, then. I'm just going to pull it out real quick, but you're going to have to push. Okay. <gasps> Congratulations, Ariel! It's a boy! Actually, ma'am, I identify as non-binary. Oh, my bad. Congratulations, Ariel! It's a they! Greetings, Mother. It's incredibly pleasant to meet you this fine day. Oh, you're such a cute little midget baby, aren't you? I can't wait to introduce you to my other children, and I promise you, I won't abuse you like I abused then. <sighs> but damn it, Miss Doctor, how do I get rid of my herpes? Well, Ariel, the only cure to herpes is a true love's kiss. Uh, but I don't even have a boyfriend anymore. How am I supposed to find a true love's kiss? Well, I don't know. Uh, you know, I heard there's a dating show that's auditioning and casting up the street. Maybe you should go check it out. Uh, you know, I'm sure you'd get in. You know, you're sexy as fuck. Oh, well, thank you. You know, you're kind of hot, too. I mean, not in, like, a gay way, because I'm not a lesbian. <laughs> Me neither. Well, I used to be. All right, Daniel, let's head home. I'm gonna drop you off real quick, then head to the bar to go have anonymous sex with random men, and then I'm gonna go try out for that reality show. Welcome home, little Daniel. This is where you're gonna live until CPS finds out that I had another undocumented child. I- Eric! Where the hell are they, Ariel? What are you doing in my house? Don't pull that shit with me, Ariel. You know good and fucking well I paid more on this house than you ever have. Where the fuck are the kids? They're at daycare. Don't fucking lie to me, Ariel. Flounder told me they don't live with you anymore. Where did you take them? I didn't take them anywhere. Well, someone sure as the fuck did. Where are they? They're with Kendra. Why the hell are they with Kendra? She... Uh, just as I thought. You got the fucking kids taken away, didn't you? No, you got the kids taken away. Oh, don't you even dare try to blame this on me. Why do you even care? You haven't even bothered to come see them in the past two years. You barely pay child support. You don't even take care of them. Oh, and you do? I sure as hell took more care of them than you ever have. You think you could just fucking leave our family and then come back once it's taken apart and then act like I'm the bad guy? I would have never left if you wouldn't have cheated on me with Sebastian. You forgot to mention the part where you cheated on me first with that big purple octopus slut. That was years ago, Ariel. I thought we had moved on. Well, I didn't. All you're doing right now is making excuses for yourself, you dumb fucking bitch. Oh, you're not gonna call me no fucking bitch because I'm not no fucking bitch. I'm your wife in the court of law only because you wouldn't clear the divorce and I had to flee to another country you period blood-headed whore. Fuck you, Eric. Fuck you, you piece of shit. Get the fuck out of my house. Don't you dare put your fucking hands on me. I'll do what the fuck I want. This is my house. Ow! What the hell? Kendra, did I just see you lay your hands on a woman? Are you serious right now, Eric? She hit me first. I don't give a fuck what she was doing. You could have just pushed her off and left. There's no reason for you to be hitting a woman like that. What the fuck kind of man are you? As a matter of fact, shouldn't you be busy off in another country, not taking care of your kids, you worthless sack of garbage, sorry ass excuse of a motherfucker. You don't ever beat on a woman. What are you even doing here? I came over here to beat that bitch's ass. Bitch, come here. Bitch, come here. Oh, oh, you want to get fucked up. What, what the hell is wrong with you? I saw your fucking Facebook post. What kind of audacity do you have to call me a loose pussy bitch when you're over here getting dicked down by half the population of Denmark? I didn't post anything like that. Yes, you fucking did. I saw it with my own two eyes. You look, I, I don't remember everything well, Kendra. I'm on meth. You know I'm on meth. What do you don't know how to understand what it's like to be me, Kendra? You like to sit up there on your soapbox and act like you're so much better than me and you know what you are, but you never even try to see where I'm coming from. I know you look at me and all you see is some rancid whore who fucked your boyfriend, but that's not all there is to me. I 
I promise you it's not Kentra. I need help. I need help, Kentra. Please help me. Are you being for real right now? You, you want help from me? Yes, Kentra. I need help from you. I, I want my babies back. I want my life back. I don't want to be like that. I can't live like this any longer. Please, Kentra, help me. You know what? Fine. If you need help, come with me. Where are we going? It doesn't matter. If you want help, you want my help, come with me. But I have to take my baby with me. Your baby. I had another baby. Another baby. Wow, holy fuck, girl, it is like, God. J c just come with me. Oh my. Today on Mori, we have a guest named Ariel who just recently had a child out of wedlock and is not sure who the father is, Kevin or Derek. Let's hear her story. My name is Ariel and I want child support for my baby. I am a single mother of five children and a legal guardian to one child and I am here to find out who the father is. Kevin and I had unprotected sex several times in the month before I got pregnant with Daniel and if I had enough money, I would firstly buy some crack and then I would bet the rest that he is the father. And so would my friend Kendra. Well, Ariel is a fucking whore, so frankly, I wouldn't be shocked if neither of these men were the father. But I also think that it's Kevin. Kevin was my boyfriend until he fucked Ariel, and I broke up with his bum ass because I'm not trying to catch whatever nasty gonorrhea, herpes, syphilis bullshit she has going on down there. Just look at them side by side. Daniel looked just like him. If Kevin is the father of this baby, he needs to take care of it. The other possibility is Derek, who used to be my boyfriend, but hasn't been my boyfriend for over a year. We only had sex three times in the month before I conceived Daniel, and two of them were with a condom, but he insists that he is the father. Whatever the outcome is, I just want enough money so I can get into rehab. So Ariel, you really think that Kevin is the father of Daniel? Yes I do, Maury, just look at him! Look, they look the same! They are twins! I'm also sure that he's a father. As a matter of fact, when we were dating, I had to get four abortions. That man is repulsively fertile. Well then, let's hear Kevin's side of the story. I am not the father of that ugly ass baby. He looks nothing like me. If anything, it looks like a goddamn Dr. Seuss character. There's no way he could be mine. He doesn't even have my haircut. I'm just here to prove that I am not the father of that child and to prove to Kendra that she should get back with me because she'll know that if I cheat on her with other girls in the future, I'll make sure I don't get any of them pregnant. Please welcome to the stage, Kevin. Boo, 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 he's walking in, everybody's booing him. Boo, boo, Kevin, boo. Kendra, you know I'm not the father of that fucking baby. I know you fucking are. You're a fucking piece of shit. How dare you try to deny this fucking baby when you know for a fact that there's a very good chance that could be your child. Look, Kendra, I pulled out every time that I had sex with Ariel while I was dating you out of respect for our relationship. I would never get her pregnant. What? Kevin, you need to stop worrying about me and focus on what you actually should have came here to focus on, which is the fact that you might have a child. And if that is your fucking child, you need to step up to the plate and be a fucking man. Grow up. Take care of your fucking child and your responsibility. Take accountability for your actions for once. That is not my fucking child, Ariel. Yes, the fuck it is. How dare you look me in the eye? Look at him. Look, he looks exactly like you. He looks nothing the fuck like me. You're just a whore and you want my fucking money. What fucking money? You don't have any goddamn money. I'm only getting money from your fucking parents. They're gonna be garnishing their fucking paychecks because you can't afford shit, you broke-ass piece of motherfucker. That child does not belong to me, Ariel. You can keep saying that over and over again. It's not gonna change the fact that those paternity results are in and they are going to say otherwise. Wise, and you're going to have to step up to the plate and take care of your child. You fucking bitch, you'll never get a cent out of me. You ruined my relationship. You tore me and Kendra apart. I'm not the one who tore shit apart. You're the one who made a vow. You made a promise to that woman that you would be fucking faithful to her and you didn't. It doesn't matter that you cheated on her with me or any other bitch. You still fucking cheated. So what you can do is stop blaming the world for all your fucking problems when they were all created by you. All right, everybody settle down. We have one more candidate to meet. Everybody, this is Derek's story. Ariel knows good and fucking well that Daniel is my child. Me and Ariel had sex without a condom two times, not just the once that she pretends we did. Daniel looks just like me. He has dark eyes, whereas Kevin and Ariel both have blue eyes. If that was really his child, then Daniel would have blue eyes. There's no way anybody but me is the father of that baby. The only reason why Ariel wants to pretend that Kevin is the father is because she wanted me to leave my girlfriend 
for her while we were hooking up and I refused to. My girlfriend Elsa has been with me through thick and thin and we're not gonna let something so small like me cheating on her and subsequently having an illegitimate child with a fish woman tear us apart. Derek is my man and there is nothing in this world that could come between us. He told me the only reason he cheated on me in the first place was because I wasn't being attentive enough to his needs. And he's reassured me that if he ever cheats on me again in the future, it will only be because I wasn't being a good enough girlfriend, which I'm gonna make sure to be from now on. Ariel is a dirty fucking bitch with crabs in her pubic hair, but luckily the frozen walls in my vagina immediately kill all sexually transmitted bacteria that gets inside. However, because of this condition, I cannot birth a child and being a mother has been my dream since I was a little girl. That's that's how I know that this is destiny. Derek cheating on me and getting another woman pregnant was in God's plan for me this whole time. Once we find out that once and for all, Derek is Daniel's father, he can come live with us and I can be his mom. And unlike that redheaded demon, I'll be an excellent one. Please welcome Derek and Elsa. That's his baby, no the fuck it isn't. That's his baby, no it isn't. That's his fucking baby. That's his baby and soon it's gonna be my fucking baby. You'll never lay a frozen fucking finger on my child, you fucking bitch. Bitch, you're mad. Bitch, you're mad. Mad about what? Who's mad? You're mad, bitch. You're mad that he chose me. Oh, what if that don't matter? Yes, the fuck it does. It does matter. He chose me. I was picked. I was chose. Just like Disney chose to recast you as a fucking black girl. She looks way better than you, ho. Bitch, shut the- Ooh, 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 all right, break it up, break it up, break it up. Ladies, break it up. Kendra, what are you even doing here? You're defending her? She's the one who fucked your boyfriend and took him from you. Uh, excuse me? She didn't take anybody from me. I broke up with his ass by my own volition because unlike you, Elsa, I'm not a weak-ass motherfucker. Do you really have that little dignity, Elsa? That little self-respect that you're gonna stay there with that fucking man who doesn't love you from a fucking hole in the wall? You can't be criticizing anybody else when you go home every night to that, to that piece of shit right there. That motherfucker that's just waiting for the moment to toss you out. He's gonna find a new pretty little fucking young thing that's gonna come along and let him treat her the same way that you fucking let him treat you. Because that's all he knows how to do. The only reason he holds on to your ass is because of the fact that he knows you're gonna sit there and put up with whatever bullshit he brings to the fucking table, which is nothing. And then you wanna come up here and act all big and bad, bitch? Nobody's scared of you. You're the weakest fucking woman I've ever seen in my entire life. You're a fucking lightning rod. You let that man treat you whatever fucking way he wants to treat you. So don't ever talk to me. You better watch your fucking tone with me, Kendra. Oh, you wanna step up? You wanna step up? Come on, hit me, hit me then, bitch. Hit me, I do, you don't wanna see how I'm gonna fucking do you. Bitch, hit me, come fight me then, bitch. Fight me, fight me. Yeah, that's what the fuck I thought. Yeah, go sit down, pussy ass bitch. That's what the fuck I thought. Derek, do you really want this baby to be yours? It's not that I want the baby to be mine. It's that I know that baby is fucking mine. Look at that baby, it looks exactly the fuck like me. That's a fa I look at that and I see myself. I look at that picture and I see blood. Well, we're about to find out once and for all because the paternity results are in. When it comes to three-day-old Daniel, Derek, you are not the father. What? No way, no, it can't be. See, bitch, I told you, you won't ever get the chance to be in any close proximity to my fucking child, just like you're not allowed to be in any kind of close proximity to your other four children who got taken away by CPS, you fucking rancid sack of shit piece of shit ass bitch. Fuck you, fuck you, bitch. I'm going to rehab right after I leave this show, and I'm going to get my kids back, and we're gonna be a happy family, unlike you, bitch. The results of Derek's lie detector test are also in. Derek, we asked you, other than Ariel, have you ever cheated on Elsa with anybody else? You said no. The lie detector determined that was a lie over 20 women and five men. <laughs> Derek, we asked you if you truly love Elsa. You said yes. The lie detector determined that was a lie. Get away from me, Derek! Get away from me, Derek! I don't want to... <laughs> babe, babe, come on, babe. Babe, babe, you know me. Babe, I love you. Babe, the only reason I cheated all those times were on the days when you were being a bad girlfriend. You know that, babe. Sometimes you don't do my dishes for me. Come on, babe. No, Derek, I can't do this anymore. You came all the way here. We came here and you made me make a fool of myself. They all think I'm a fool now. Because I thought you loved me. Who were the men, Derek? Who were the men you had sex with? I had sex with Kevin. Uh, 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 uh. 
when it comes to three-day-old Daniel. You are not the father either. Oh, yeah, yeah, I'm not the father. Yeah. Uh, Kendra, do you want me back? No. I want you not the father. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, Ariel. We're gonna find out. We're gonna find out who the father is. <laughs> it had to be. It had to be one of them. It had to be Kendra. It can't be him. It can't be him, Kendra. You fucking cut! I'll kill you. I'll kill you. Give me my meth right now. I want my meth. I'm not going to rehab. You know what? Fine then, bitch. I can't help you if you're not gonna help yourself. I was just trying to be nice, but clearly all you can think about is yourself and your own instant gratification. And quite frankly, Ariel, it's not my problem. You're the one who has five children waiting for you to step up to the plate and be a mother to them. And time and time again, you continue to let them down because you choose yourself every fucking time. If that's really what you want, Ariel, then go knock yourself the fuck out. You can go back to that Section 8 apartment complex for the two more weeks before you get a and you can go hang out with the cockroaches under your fridge and the bed bugs in your mattress instead of your children. You cracked out dirty ass hoe. Bye. Wait, Kendra, no, please, please. Please what? Kendra, I need help. I, I, I'll go to rehab. I'll do anything. I'm sorry. I, I'm just not me anymore. What have I done to myself? <laughs> Hello. Welcome to the Bela Town Behavioral and Substance Abuse Rehabilitation Center. My name is Leona. How may I assist you? Hello. My friend here needs to get into rehab because she's a meth addict who fucks every man who gives her a slight amount of attention. Do you have any openings? We sure do. May I ask what kind of queer she is? Queer? What do you mean what kind of queer she is? Well, this rehabilitation center is only designed for members of the LGBTQIABCDFU community. We like to know which letter each member falls underneath before we start the paperwork. Wait, so you have to be some kind of gay in order to get into rehab? Th that's fucking ridiculous. Well, if she isn't queer, she can certainly go to the straight people rehab down the street. The food isn't as good, and it's mostly full of Republican men who are trying to stop beating their wives, but I mean to each their own. You know what? I actually am a lesbian. But didn't she just say that you have sex with every man who gives you attention? What, how could you be a lesbian? See, that's exactly my problem. I do so many drugs that the drugs turn me straight and make me have sex with men. Hmm, that sounds kind of fishy, no pun intended. I think I need to see some more proof. What kind of proof? Well, I suppose if I were to see you actually make out with a woman, you could prove to me that you are in fact a queer. What, why do I have to prove that I'm gay anyway? What kind of queer are you? I'm a transgender woman. Oh my gosh, really? I had no idea. You pass so well. Flattery will not get you through the door, strawberry shortcake. I need to see some girl-on-girl -girl action or you're not checking into this facility. Kendra... You have to do me the biggest favor in the world. You're not seriously about to ask me what I think you are, are you, Kendra? Please, you've got to do this for me. This is the only way for me to get better. God damn it, fine. Well, I gotta say, that was uh, pretty fucking gay. Welcome aboard, Ariel. Follow me over here. Thank you, Kendra. You're such a lifesaver. Oh my gosh. I swear to God, if I go home and I start seeing mouse wars, I'm gonna come back up here and beat the fuck out of you, bitch. Hello, how can I help you, ma'am? Yeah, could you explain to me why the fuck my burger doesn't have any ketchup on it? Did you not ask for no ketchup? I wanted extra ketchup, and I did not ask for it. I ordered it, which means that I expect it to be on my sandwich because I'm a paying customer, and it's what I deserve because I paid for it. Actually, I have your order pulled up right here, and not only does it say you specifically wanted no ketchup, but it's a mobile order. Like, you had to place it yourself. I don't give a fuck. I want my extra ketchup. I want my food that I meant to order. Fix it! Okay, well, we'd be far more than happy to remake it for you. That's it. Would you like a refund instead? I want the burger remade, and I want a full refund on my order. Unfortunately, ma'am, I can only provide you with one of those solutions. Are you fucking kidding me right now? I... No? So you're gonna just gonna treat me like this? Me? A paying customer? You're gonna treat me like this? Uh, yep. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. I'm... You're evil. You're Satan. <laughs> Uh, how could you? How dare you? How could you do this to me? What, what kind of demonic entity are you? I, I, I can't even look at you. Ma'am, like I said, we are more than happy to either remake the sandwich or give you a refund. We want to make this a better experience for you, but unfortunately we cannot do both. Fuck you, cunt! Get the fuck out of my face! Where is your manager? Ma'am, the manager is going to tell you the exact same thing. I don't care about anything you else. You have to say you're such a fucking liar. Just go get your fucking manager. You know what? I'll grab them. They'll be right over. 
What seems to be the problem here, ma'am? Hello, the woman who was working the register just now was being extremely aggressive, dismissive, and disrespectful to me, all because I asked for my burger to be properly remade. I would like a new burger as well as a refund. You know what? Actually, ma'am, I have a better solution for you since we can't seem to accommodate you appropriately. How about you take that burger that you ordered yourself and shove it up your own ass so you don't have to taste the lack of tomato paste on your bullshit, you entitled little bitch. Excuse me? Oh, pardon me if you couldn't hear me before. Let me be a little bit more clear this time. <laughs> shove your burger up your ass, you stupid fucking bitch. What gives you any right to talk to me like that? Do you know who I am? No, and I don't want to either. I am literally the third most famous Ariana Grande cosplayer on TikTok. I am literally almost a celebrity. So watch your tone with me. You work at McDonald's, and bitch, you eat at McDonald's. How about them apple slices? By yourself on a Friday night, might I add, all dressed up and dolled up to impress nobody. Bitch, you're not even McDonald's level bougie. You are the Ariana Grande we have at home. You got all that fucking internet money, and you're in here crying over $8 because your dumbass doesn't know how to read a fucking online menu. Go fuck yourself, you twat flapping ass hoe.